Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. Uh, the problem reads are determining the required force that must be applied at uh, the blade of uh, the pruning shears so that uh, the blade exerts a normal force of 20 pounds on the twig uh, at E. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.S. Isabella. So we have a simple machine here that is made out of how many members? uh one two three four so it has four members all right so it has this first member that i'm outlining right now in red okay in red this one then it has the second member that i'm outlining in green these two force member here dc and it has another member okay that i'm outlining in blue okay it has also part of the handles and part of uh, uh, the shearing part in fact it's a it's the biggest member here as in it has more material than the rest and then we have uh, the last but not the least, which I'm highlighting in black, or I mean I'm outlining in black. Okay. So these are the four members that we have. Uh, we have been told that uh, the twig at the moment is experiencing uh, 20 pounds from the shearing uh, blades. And we have been asked to find the value of P, okay, the applied force. This is where you uh, you apply the force using your hand. Right, so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to dismantle this particular, uh, it's a what? It's a, a pruning shear, uh, okay, and then later on we are going to get those members that we are interested in that we think or that we are going to consider to be of use to allow us uh, determine the value of uh, p so for me i'll use the outline in red okay outline in red and the outline in green and the outline in black so that those will be enough so what i'll do is i'll draw the free body diagram let me start with the twig we have the twig this is the twig at e this twig, we've been told, is subjected to uh, the shearing force of 20 pounds, like so. Then the, uh, the other point there, it is at an incline, at just at an incline, okay, like so. Okay, this is 20 pounds. All right, so let me draw the outline now in uh, red. So the outline in red is uh, something like this. Uh -huh. All right, something like this, right? Mm -hmm. So we have uh, a pin at D somewhere there. This is D. And then a pin at C. This is C. Okay. So if you look at uh, the pin at C, there we have a member that is connected, member BC, and that is a two force member. So we only expect one axial force in that particular two force member, and it will be along the direction BC, right? So if I look at this particular member, of course, I'm able to tell that uh, BC is in compression, right? But even if you made a mistake, it will still correct itself for as long as it. You have assumed the right force at E on the blade, right? So for me, I know that this is going to be in compression. So I will have a force like this. Okay. And um, I have uh, the slope for this link. This link BC, I have a slope. At the bottom, the run is 0.75. The rise is 0.5, uh, 
and the high the hypotenuse 0.5 and 0.7 let's calculate it 0.5 square plus 0.75 square and 0.5 square plus 0.75 square so we have root of 0.8125 right mm -hmm. okay so this force let's call this force is dc dc so it is going to have two components it will have one component the horizontal direction and another component uh, the vertical direction like this so let's name this this one is going to be bc uh, by 0.75 divided by the hypotenuse which is root 8125 and then the other one is bc uh, by 0.5 divided by root of 0.8125 all right um what else at d we expect uh two forces there dy this pin dy and dx all right since we have a force like this on the twig so we expect a reaction force at an incline also there okay so this is the 20 pounds okay and the distance this distance here so when you look at the twig from a to the point from a to the lower blade okay this distance you've been told this is one inch okay right so from also d to this point here okay this point here this distance here also okay this is also going to be one inch all right for equilibrium to be maintained right that is also one inch okay so this distance here to the twig okay how do i give it um let me write, write it properly somewhere where it will be visible let me use red so this distance here this distance here this one there this one this distance here so we are saying this is one inch okay you see it right because these blades yeah, okay at the point where we have uh, the reaction force from the twig that distance to d will be the same as the blade at the lower at the, the blade at the lower side the bottom side uh, the reaction from that point the lower point of the twig to a so those distances need to be maintained i mean need to be the same for equilibrium to be maintained all right what other information so for d d to c horizontal this distance here this distance this distance here uh, from d to c um this one is uh 0 0.75 by 2 which is 1.5 and then the vertical direction the vertical distance this one dc uh, this one we've been told is uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 inch and then we have the twig i mean the the the, the this this c itself this is how it looks right so this is c and this is d so we expect some tension force there okay let me let me get it i place it somewhere okay i place it here even there we expect some tension force so we expect a tension force bc there i mean not tension force sorry we said compression this one is going to undergo compression okay we expect some compression force uh, bc um and also bc like so okay the distances we already know them from there to there we said this is uh 
0.75 we've integrated them in the slope and then from there to there we've said this is a uh, 0.5 sorry my drawing is not well done but this is how it is all right so with this figure we are going to take moments about g so that we find the value of pc and then later on we are going to use the outline of that to find the force p all right so summation of moments about point d equal to zero uh what do we have we have uh, minus 20 times 1 mm -hmm. that's clockwise and then we have anti-clockwise plus um, plus DC uh, 0.75 divided by root of 0 0.8125 times 0.5 then plus BC by 0.5 divided by root of 0.8125 times the lever arm which is 1.5 is equal to 0. Do we have anything else? Mm -mm, these are the only things. Therefore, our BC is going to be equal to, grab your calculator, 0.75 by 0.5 uh, plus 0.5 by 1.5 divided by root of 0.8125. Okay. And we have 20 divided by that so we have bc equal to 16.020247 okay uh pounds right so that is our bc let me write it somewhere there bc is equal to 16.0247 pounds so found bc so what we need to do now is to get this outline. We've seen this outline here in black, this one. This one, this is the one we are talking about, okay? In black, we are going to draw a free body diagram quickly and then uh, later on, we place that BC at this point where we have B at this hinge. And then uh, calculate the value of uh, P, okay? So I'm going to remove these calculations here, but I'll remove the other free body diagram there so that I just have some space. So let me draw this part. So this part is just something like this. Let me use black. So if I was to draw the free body diagram for this part, this part is uh, something like this. Yeah, not a very good free body diagram, right? All right. Uh -huh. something like this okay not too good but uh, uh something like that last point is a and then we have this point here which is b all right so at a we expect a y some reaction some forces there a y and a x then at b uh a x let me put it the other side so i'll have some space ax like so then at b b we expect uh, this particular force like this force from uh, the link or from uh, the two force member bc uh, this is bc and we've calculated what bc is already this is bc and we've said bc is equal to 16.0247 so it will have some components so it will have one component one component like this then it's going to have another component like this okay so these two components let's calculate what they are so this one is bc we know already what it is it's bc uh, 0.775 which we know root of 0.8125 and then when we when we do the calculation we know already what bc is uh so we have 16.0247 times 0.75 
divided by root of 8, 1, 2, 5. Okay, so this is equal to 13 point uh, 3334. Three, three, then this other one here, this one is BC by, uh, this is BC by, uh, by what? By 0.5 divided by root of 0.8125 and when we do the calculation what do we get 16.0247 uh, times 0.5 divided by root of 0.8125 so this one gives us 8 8.8889 Alright, so we have these two forces. Let's indicate distances. Mind you, there is also a value here of P. Here, somewhere there. This is P. Okay, so let's indicate the distances. We have um, from B to B, we have this distance here. This distance uh, from A to B, rather, from A to B. A to B is 0.5 inches. Then uh, from uh, the, the horizontal direction, uh, we, this is 0.75, okay, and then uh, okay, 0.75, and then we have this distance here from A, from A to P, from A to P, this distance is there. Uh, 5.5 uh, 5 inches, right? Mm -hmm. 0 0.5 0 0.5 there Yeah, I think this is about it So with this diagram here, we are going to take moments about A so that we find P Is that fine? Mm -hmm. So we say summation of moments about point A equal to 0 and clockwise in our reference so let's get moving. So we have uh, eight point eight 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 nine times the lever arm, and this is negative moment minus by point seven five mm -hmm. minus thirteen point three 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 four times point five. Okay, and then plus P times 5.5 .5 equal to 0. Alright, so therefore our P, our P becomes equal to, our P becomes equal to, let's calculate, uh, minus 8.8889 times 0.75 minus 13.3334 by 0.5 then divided by 5.5. Okay, so we have our P equal to 2.4 2 2 2 uh, okay, pounds. Right, so we have P, therefore P is going to be equal to, we just round it off to two, to two decimal places, so 2.42 pounds mm -hmm. I think that is about it uh, we found the value of P but I've also indicated the value of BC that's a value of P that means we applied that the blade of the pruning shear so that the blade exerts a normal force of 20 pounds on the tree at E I guess we are done and I hope the video was helpful if it was like my video share my video continue subscribing bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.